Okay, so this is just my test run. I have the tablet. Of course, I have to turn it sideways so that we can view both because otherwise we're stuck with only one or the other. So I could turn it like this, but then you guys are obviously going to have to turn your phones if you have to comment. And um, I'm sorry about the pool. I have not gotten to pick it up yet. It's very heavy. So this is from the other side of the house. So we're going to call this view five. Okay. I would have to turn the tablet the same way from the other side because you can't see well. What do you guys think? All right, so this is probably going to be a longer video because I'm, with each, well, some of these questions I have to actually show you guys. So the first um, question from the comments was, is there anything on the roof under where the live is? Because it sounds like somebody's up there. Hold on. So this is what the roof looks like under the window where we hang out. That right there is a piece of plastic wrap from the iPad last night, the, the third piece that fell off. So you could have been hearing crinkling from that. But if you can see how steep that part of the roof is, but then there's over here, which is still really steep, and that's above the porch. So, and then on this side, that connects to the other, the roof that's out front. So they could possibly climb up there and around, but I don't know how they would stay up there, honestly. Second question was, can I set up the live elsewhere? So I can't put the live in the shed facing the house because there's no Wi-Fi. It doesn't reach there. I no longer put the shed or the shed, the live iPad out here or the front porch, the front porch for other reasons. But the main reason is because I'll have to come outside to tap the screen every 30 minutes because TikTok's new update makes you act or you have to um, touch the screen and interact with the live like every 30 minutes. I don't know if it's exactly 30 minutes. I know it's not much more than 30 minutes. 
Otherwise, the live will end. But last night, I didn't interact with it for, I think it was over like an hour, and it was still going. So I don't know what the time frame is, but it's very frustrating. A lot of people have asked what has happened to the broom, which I did briefly address. I put the broom in the shed, the kid's shed, and then the night that the shed door opened like halfway in the middle of the night at 3.30 I saw it and then in the morning it was all the way open the broom was gone later that day when I checked I have no idea what happened to it there's no footage on my cameras of course is it my neighbors no the one neighbor that I do have that's close by on that side they no longer stay there they haven't stayed there for probably six months or more they rent it out for an Airbnb and I always know when there are people staying at the Airbnb because I can see their vehicles and I can always like hear them you know, pulling in or whatever. What is on the top of the shed? That one I get a lot in the lives, not so much anymore, but that right there is a weather vane. It like checks, you know, when wind speed and I don't know, precipitation. I'm not really sure. Uh, what are the squares or the holes on the shed? Those are mirrors and I put them on there I put them on there with the hopes that while we're live, if, you know, if somebody's walking back here and we can't see them, we'll be able to see their reflection in the mirrors. I don't know if it'll work because they're kind of small, but that's all I could afford. I constantly get during the lives, you need more lighting, you need more cameras, you need a, a fenced in yard, you need this, you need that. Yes, that would be wonderful if I could have those things and have more of what I, my lighting is awful, awful. But you guys have to understand, what you can see in the live is not what I see when I look out the window. The lights, the lighting, when I have the porch light and this light on for the live, I can see this entire, like all, I can see way over there into like up into the wood line and all the way over there. I can see pretty well, I can't see into the woods, but I can't afford uh, more lights. I'm a stay at home mom and uh I just, I can't afford it. And I would love to, but I cannot. Um, also, a lot of people, you know, they say they want to either send cameras or to tell me about other cameras. If it's not a ring camera, I can't run it because all of these cameras require subscriptions. You have to pay monthly. Even if you're not getting 24 hours uh, surveillance, you have to pay for all of that. So if I'm, somebody sent me one of the wise, wise or YZ cameras, like, probably, I don't know, seven months ago. And I still have it sitting in a drawer because you need a subscription that I can't afford to pay for because I already have to pay for my ring subscription. Um, oh, hold on. Another popular question is, is it a human or is it spirit, spiritual, whatever? I am for sure that a lot of the incidents are a human. I don't know if they're, I don't think they're mentally stable, but there are some things that have happened that I can't explain being a human because I would literally hear it and I'm looking outside. I don't see anyone anywhere. And like, it sounds like it's happening like right by us. And so those, those are the kind of things that I can't explain if it was a human, but I don't know. I really don't know. Is it my husband? No, it's not. And I know this because he's sleeping downstairs the majority of the time I'm live. Why don't the cops do anything? Well, uh, they they do what they can, but they we don't have a face, we don't have a name, we've never caught this person in real time. The majority of these notifications, like the big ones where the person's actually within view of the camera, I've received them after the fact, whether it be 30 minutes to an hour later or four hours later. But regardless, if you look into all of these incidences, their, their face never is showing. The hair that they left behind was synthetic, so it's not like they could run like a DNA on that. And the finger, the one fingerprint that was lifted isn't in the database. So I'm not sure what people think that they're supposed to do. They're not like, you know what I mean? If you, if you don't know who it is, then there's not much you can do. There's nothing you can do. A lot of people ask me what my sister thinks about it. My sister is the type and has always been. She doesn't want to hear about creepy things. She doesn't want to know about them. She feels like if you talk to him about, if you talk to her about them, it'll start happening to her. So she, anytime I even start to bring it up, she's like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know because then I'm not coming to your house anymore. Another question is, do my kids know? Of course not. 
my my kids are four and 16 months old i do not want them to be scared i mean kids already have fear of you know irrational fears i don't want them to have something to be really scared about so we do not discuss it in front of them ever what does my uncle think since he's temporarily living here he's uh, a little crazy as it is not crazy but he's he's a special breed and he has a lot of weapon weaponry weaponry like you know arrows and bow and arrows and all that stuff so he just he's just ready if they come that's what he tells me he's ready one of the main questions i get that really drives me crazy is why don't you just move well there's a few reasons why i don't just move we just moved here a little over a year ago we moved into this house because it was literally our dream home. Mine, mine mainly. I have driven by this house for years and years and years. And I've always said, if that house goes on the market and I'm able to buy it, we're, I'm buying that house. So this, this house is amazing. This land is amazing. Mind you, we sold our last house and we had to move into my husband's family home temporarily for like six months until this house was ready because the previous owners had to wait for their their new home to be built. So we had to move our kids twice in like a seven month span of time. And it was torture, it was hell. Anybody that has kids knows what, it, what it's like when you move them and especially moving them twice. My son, Johnny, went from sleeping by himself, no sleeping problems to having to have me or my husband sleep with him. And it just progressively got worse once we moved in here. So, and also it costs a lot of money to move. For those of you that own a home or pay their own bills, they understand that you can't just up and move. It's not, it's not even possible. A lot of people say you should get a bunch of trail cams. Well, I have one trail cam, that's all I can afford. So I do have that on and running. I don't check it as often as I should because I have to walk into the woods to get close enough to the trail cam to connect to it so I can watch the footage. And I do move it you know, every like couple of months just to, you know, I don't want them to figure out where it is. Another question or thing comment I get all the time is why don't you put a, out bear traps or animal traps to catch the person? Well, because we have bears, mountain lions, uh, bobcats, deer, raccoons, any animal you can possibly think of, we have come into this yard daily. So I'm not going to put something that's going to injure them. And another one that drives me insane. If that were me, I would sit out all night and wait for them. Why don't you sit outside and wait for them all night? Well, because I have two young kids that are in my house sleeping. Therefore, if I'm outside sitting out here waiting for them to come and God forbid they come up behind me, I'm putting myself at, at risk, like in a ridiculous way. And I'm leaving my kids, at least one of them unsupervised in the house, if not both of them, depending on who's here. So I would never do that. And, um, if you would do that, I feel bad for your kids. If I didn't have children or if I knew somebody was with them, fine. But you're putting yourself at risk going outside like that. Just saying.